Hey everyone, welcome back to My Random 603. Today, we finally get to open up something I've been anxiously awaiting to try out. And that's the 35th anniversary Game & Watch for Zelda. This has a few games on it, Zelda, uh, Zelda 2, and then it also has uh, Link's Awakening, which was a Game Boy game. Uh, and on this one, I believe it's actually only in black and white, or mo monochrome rather. It also has a couple of timing games that are built in, along with Vermin. So Vermin was the original Game & Watch game, but it's like a Link uh, edition of it. So Link is the, uh, the person that's in it. And then for the time game, you can jump in on the clock and actually move your character around and play at any given time. And for the timer, I believe that you can set the timer and try to kill as many monsters as possible. Um, this is the update to the Game & Watch for Mario that came out uh, before that, which was pretty nice. It was a fun Game & Watch series. I got this one as well. And it did have some Easter eggs, but I think that the Zelda one is going to be much more refined. So without further ado, let's change our camera angle up and let's open this up. I haven't touched this at all yet, so I'm just as excited as you are, but you've probably seen a bunch of videos on YouTube that have already done this. I just haven't opened mine yet. So let's go and change that camera angle, open this up and see what it's all about and we can find out together. I'm really digging the Zelda monsters on the cover as, long, as well as the Zelda graphic. I'm going to guess this is an overlay just like it was in the Mario edition where you slide this open and it's going to have the original Game & Watch set up. Just like that. You have a little note, special thanks to you on the side. That's pretty neat. And on the back, it shows you a brief description of all the different features. Zelda, Zelda 2, uh, and then Zelda uh, Link's Awakening, which was a Game Boy game. Uh, Vermin, the clock playtime where you can start to play at any time. And then the countdown where you can try to kill as many monsters as possible. The unit itself, is much better placed than this cardboard and flipping it over you could totally use this as a stand oh, has instructions in here as well Included USB cable. I'll show you what this looks like real quick. I actually prefer these stands that I printed out though. The one thing that I did uh, think was kind of lame. Uh, and this isn't, I mean, this is just personal preference, but uh, this is a very short uh, USB-C cable. I actually got a longer cable so I could set my Mario up as a clock full time because it does turn off after a while.
I love how this one's gold, uh, except with the green background. Let's see if it even has a charge out of the box. Nice. That's pretty neat. And here is a cool feature. I don't know if you can tell, but this is glowing in the background here. So I'm gonna just shut off the lights real quick so you can get a better, better shot of that. How cool is that? The glowing Triforce in the back. Probably switch the can the lights back on. And another neat thing about this is it also has the English and Japanese versions on here. Nice. So Let's see if when we switch this, let's see if the sound changes too. And the sound is all coming from that little slot there. Pretty neat so far. And I think one of the Easter eggs on here is if you hold down the A button. You get all full lives. So let's go to Link. I'm really re impressed with the sound um, above everything else right now. And if you're paying attention, you can you can totally tell the slight differences in the sound. Because this would have been on the Famicom. How cool is that? So it's really like getting six games. They're the same game, but it really is like getting six games instead of three. So let's go back to English. Let's start the game. And let's try doing the same thing. Let's see if there's an Easter egg here for this as well. Hold down the A button. Yep. 
It sure is. How cool is that? And this is The Awakening, which a lot of people griped about um, that it was monochrome, but whatever, it's staying true to the platform. And this one, I... I'm not sure what the, uh... I'm not sure what the actual Easter egg is for the, the cheat on that one. Here's Vermin, and you can see it's Link. timer game. This is the one where we're trying to kill as many monsters as possible. Okay, so now I'm control. I'm actually controlling Link here. Can I go across the screen? Nope. And what happens when I die? Just restarts. Okay, and then you take you can take over again. So there you have it. I mean, this is this is a super neat uh, console. The sound is really cool in it. I love this light up Triforce in the back. Totally surprised that it had a uh, charge out of the box. So I think the next thing uh, I'm gonna play with this for a little bit. But I think the next thing that I want to do is. Do a tear down and maybe a mod. Um, maybe we can set it up so we can have some some headphone out or something on here. But there you have it, Legend of Zelda Game and Watch, 35th anniversary edition. Thanks again for taking a peek at my unboxing and initial thoughts of the Zelda Game and Watch uh, that got released for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Um, if you like the 3D printed stands better than this uh, box setup, uh, if you go in the comments, the info section below, I'll leave a link to Thingiverse where you could download it and print it out for yourself. I used some uh, lime green filament uh, specifically for the Zelda. I didn't find this for Mario, but now that I did, I will print out a, a red one. For Mario as well. Um, thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.